Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Matt, here, and welcome to part number two of three for our third annual mock marathon. So, you may have just recently saw um, a change which was for Beal Juice, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Uh, it was pretty good, right? Yeah. So, so now for the second, we're going to be doing mine, and as you may have read the title, and as you can see here, it's Teen Titans Go. I did a Teen Titans Go themed project, and it's really cool. I made a whole bunch of, I made a whole bunch of stuff with it, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So, um, all right, so enough talking. Now let's get into the actual project. So first off, we're going to start off with the mechs and the car before we get into the tower. So, uh, first up, we have the Titan robot here, and here's the comparison of mine between the one from LEGO Dimensions. Uh, quite different, uh, not really, I mean, it, there's definitely some differences in there, yes, but, eh. Anyways, now, this is the Titan robot, the robot from the show where each of them control one part. I've got, I've got some bionicle arms and some bionicle legs with some feet so it can stand. I mean, it can't really stand on its own because of all the weight on it, but still. Got another hand right here. And each of them, each of the arms have their own kind of like armor plates to represent kind of like an armored feel to it. This one has like a shoulder pad. And it actually has like this giant war club back here or just a staff thing that you can actually put in this hand like so. So now you can actually like wave it around and everything, so very cool. Um, let me just get, take that off real quick. I'll just lean it. Now let's take a look at the different sections. Like at the top here, we've got this um, little orange piece with some with a cool design on it. I thought it looked really cool. But anyways, here are the, of course like the eyes. A pe another piece right there, and when you pull it down, you can actually see that that is Cyborg in there. I decided to make, like, cockpits for each of the Titans, so that's Cyborg right there in the head, since he goes in the head. He drives. Uh, down here, we've got Beast Boy and Raven, and down here, we've got Robin and Starfire. Not accurate to how they're on the show, but, eh. I made the pieces out of, I made the arms and legs out of Bionicles, so. But, yeah, I put them in kind of like they're accurate. Um... Um, positions. I mean, not really with Beast Boy and Raven, but with Robin and Starfire, yes, because, I mean, Robin goes in the left leg, just like he always does. <laughs> um, but anyways, the back, uh, not, too, ex not too exciting. I've got some lights here to, like, represent jet, jet boosters and such. Overall, a really cool build. I'm happy with it. Next up, we're gonna go on to the Silky Robot. Now, the Silky Robot is the robot of Starfire's pet from the show known as Silky. He's a, a bumgorf, a kind of creature from the show. I do not know what kind of creature that is. So, um, so I'm gonna, so anyways, um, um, I thought it'd be really cool to make the Silky Robot. It's got some really cool stuff on it. I made it out of the, like, the one, my extra LEGO Dimensions gateway. It's got the keystones all around here, a cockpit with Phantom Zone Guy, a cool little, like, crown piece. I got some wings right here, these other little turny wheels, some more turning things here. Uh, and it's all made up of, like, light blues and dark blues and silvers and such. Like, the feet down here are blue and everything, has some transits and stuff. And this arm has some electricity fired out of it. And this one actually has sort of like a fire sword that I decided to make. I thought it'd be really cool. Like the silly robot literally like swings a fire sword. Pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it has like wings, the two hands, the two feet with the keystones, and all these cool pieces of like grays and such. Uh, the back, it's not too particularly exciting. I mean, it has uh, some other cool pieces like blues and grays. But still, it looks really cool, so I'm really happy with how the Silky Robot turned out. Again, not accurate to the show, but whatevs. And finally is the T-Car. So the T-Car is essentially the car from the show that they like drive around a lot to go to missions and such, which is really cool, and I thought it would be really cool to make it. So we can actually, there's a cockpit right here with a wheel and a steering wheel, or a window, I should say, right there. Uh, and you can actually fit a character in there, like Phantom Zone Guy. There's a backrest. There's actually some, like, laser blasters right here to, like, fire stuff. I mean, not literally, but still. There's some LEGO Dimensions Lego Dimensions designs right there, looking very cool. Some, um, like, another yellow piece. Bottom's not too particularly exciting. It just has these, like, slope pieces right here to add some design. And because it has wheels, it does actually move around, so... 
very cool. So yeah, so that's all for um. So that's all for now. All of these uh different mechs right here: the Silky Robot, the T Robot, and the T Car. Um. So with that in mind, let's move on right along to the tower. See. All right, guys, and now the moment we have all been waiting for: the Titan's Tower itself. That is right, I have literally created this giant, massive tower. In a second, we will go on to the opposite sides. But here, I will actually show you um, what I've got. So let's start from the bottom and up. Or bottom to up, I, I should say. <laughs> um, so basically, the doors right here, um, they do actually slide open. So you can actually slide them open. And then you can make a minifigure like this, like Phantom Guy, and <clears throat> walk him inside. Which is very cool. And they do slide clothes too. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um, so anyways, we got some like t a tube right here, which is really cool. Some other miscellaneous details such as like wheels and flags and such on the side. Some other plates like this one. The fire 60002 thing, which is really cool. And in there, you can actually see that, let me open the doors. Once again, you can actually see that there is a door in there, and when you open it, uh, it actually leads into the laundry room from Teen Titans Go. So, like, that's the laundry room that we saw Raven go into to try to wash all the Titans' clothes. So that there, you can actually um, go in there. I wish I could have um, gotten the shot in there for it, but I couldn't find, like, the detachment point um, on here on the bottom point of the tower. But, you never know, maybe I'll make a separate video showing you where what what it is or and how it looks and everything once uh, we start smelling these things. But, like, yeah, and until then, I uh, can't really tell you. But, now let's get into this part. So this is here is essentially the living room where we see the Titans um, hang out sometimes. So here is, of course, their couch where you can actually uh, see a character. So, such as Phantom Zone, Phantom Zone Guy, he can... Whoops. Uh, but yeah, you can actually set a character in there. I'm not too sure I want to put a character in there because I don't want it to. But yeah, there's the couch. I'm trying to go down that shaft. But anyways, here is the tight. That right there is the Titan's computer that they use to like activate um, a bunch of stuff and everything for missions. And then there is their TV that they watch um, TV shows on. So very cool. Um, so with that out of the way, now let's move into the two sides of the towers. So now that I've showed you the living room of the tower, now we're gonna, I'm gonna show you the two pieces on the side. They do actually come off, as you can see, they come off, uh, kind of perfectly. Sometimes it breaks, um, I mean, most of the time, but whatever. Uh, so anyways, on this side, it's the kitchen and, um, Ro Cyborg and Robin's room and another room. I'll show you that in a sec. So first up, it's the kitchen. So, the kitchen that they generally come to for food. I've got some, like, maybe ketchup and mustard bottles right here. Um, a sort of toaster machine right here with the purple buttons. This coffee mug right here. And even a fridge that can actually, whoops. It can actually open up, like so. And you can actually, like, put stuff in there, which is really cool. So, and the fridge is actually in a cyborg's room. So, cyborg's room... Right here, there is of course the um, there is of course the toy tag and you, uh, a toy tag spot, so you can actually rest Cyborg down right there, which is really cool. And here I have a whole bunch of armors, which are literally just uh, Cyborg's armors from the show. Whoops. Well, not accurate, but there was this one episode where we see him looking through his closet with a whole bunch of armors and such in it. So I thought it'd be really cool to recreate that here. So here I've got sort of like an Ultron ish looking suit which is really cool um then i've got this one which is sort of like a clone sort of version and then this one right here which has like these wing which has these wings and everything looking very cool so i just thought it'd be really cool to create some armors and actually um add them into uh the mock marathon so very very cool um anyways so now that that side is complete let's um, I mean, not this side completely, but it does actually split into two. So, like, the it the tower splits into two, and then this splits into two as well, so very cool. Um, but, let me just, one sec, I'm just reattaching something. 
There we go. So, essentially, on this side, it's the computer room with all their files and everything, and Robin's room. So, here in Robin's room, we've got his bed, and we've got a whole bunch of, like, weapons on the walls, like, swords, uh, guns, uh, his staff and everything, because, you know, like, he's all about weapons and everything. And here is the computer room, and here we've got the seat, and we've got, uh, the computer itself with, like, a telephone system there, some buttons and such, and a crystal right there at the top. I thought it'd be really cool to recreate that room, just so, um, you, you know, and, yeah. So, with that in mind, uh, there you guys have it. That is, um, the complete of, that is the, um, complete for this side of the tower. So now let's go on ahead and move to the next.